Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms. I had about a month go by since I did the last update on the garden. And I'm uh, going to show you the progress, what we've gotten. Uh, been very, very uh, great so far. Blackberries, which uh, mostly what's in here is blackberries and strawberries. They've taken off. We've gotten several blackberries. You can see we've got quite a few more coming on. First year, I've never had much success. Usually it's the second and third year with berries that you really get like tons of them. And uh, we've had a few of them, had a few raspberries. We'll go over there in a minute. Strawberries, we've been getting a lot of strawberries. A uh, few here that actually got overripe before they got ripe. And uh, we're gonna pull them off. And we got a little bit, uh, too many runners on here. Normally I would pick those off and then you would get a lot more berries. But I'm planning on doing a very large uh, raised bed with nothing but strawberries here next year and so I'm trying to get as many runners as possible so I don't have to buy any and uh, so uh, you'll see they're kind of like uh, way overgrowing right now in, in the strawberry beds the melons we went and put on these uh, uh, trellises these cattle panel arches we did and uh, they just like overnight you see we got one here another one here pretty good size and those just uh like really kind of popped up overnight there's actually uh about four or five of them just on this one and we're going to end up putting uh uh making little hammocks for them to kind of give them a little extra support come over here and the uh i believe i got cantaloupes in here they're just now kind of starting to take off. They were a little slower. I think it must be the way the sun hits here because I'm watering these really, really heavy in the evening and in the morning. Tomatoes went crazy. We're gonna have to actually uh, get more space for them or cut back, but uh, we've been getting uh, just 10, 15 tomatoes a day of the big ones and tons of the little yellow pear tomatoes, which are the ones I really like. You can see several of these are ripe in here, but you know, these little pear ones, uh, never had these. These are delicious, they're sweet. Uh, one, of my, one of my two favorites as far as little tomatoes go. And the other tomatoes are really good, really sweet. We've been having a lot of, uh, a lot of turkey sandwiches, a lot of BLTs uh, about every other night. Green beans now, we're uh, starting to pull a ton of green beans as well, uh, just filling up baskets uh, from the green beans about every other day. Pumpkins are going as pretty good too. You can see one is actually about ripe. And uh, we've got two or three more. You can see one I'm down in here already. And one up here, which that one's probably going to end up needing a uh, little hammock for it as well too. Coming over, you see, uh, like I said, this was uh, the strawberries and the blackberries that we had before. This is my uh, raspberry and strawberries over here. And again, strawberries have been really great on this and raspberries too. We're starting to get a few of them already. I mean, we're still in the middle of July, so it's still early for uh, when we actually have planted them. But that's uh, been going going pretty good the peas have pretty much uh stopped we were getting a lot of sweet peas they're uh kind of drying up now as quick as they're coming on but i think we're going to use them for seeds next year and more green beans you know in here we've got cucumbers and we've got these uh, yellow squashes and these yellow squashes it seems like we get four or five of them a day so another one that was uh, that was really good. Starting to get cantaloupes and melons over here growing. Got, uh, I think that's a cantaloupe right there. Uh, there are a few melons in here. I believe that's a sugar baby actually right there that we got. So they're, uh, they're doing good. Same with over here. This was planted about a week or two later. So I figure about another week we'll really start seeing them coming on. In the morning, the bees are crazy. They come out of our hives and there's uh, hundreds of bees all in here. So they're getting pollinated. And plus I've got uh, sunflowers kind of planted in here. Oh, here's a, 
There's another little melon right there. I just noticed that one. But I uh, have sunflowers and they've really taken off as well. So we'll have uh, some sunflowers for seeds or for uh, some bird seeds as well. And uh, of course our corn, it's coming on. We got uh, quite a few ears of corn that are growing on it. So not bad for a first year. We're gonna expand this out a lot, but I'm gonna wait till fall to really do it this year. Hopefully uh, do it enough time that I can take those runners off the strawberries and uh, get a good planting in where it'll survive through the winter. But i uh, like to do an update, you know, every so often as this is going, uh, not only, you know, if someone else is kind of interested, maybe gets inspired or some ideas, but also uh, kind of documents I can go back next year and see what worked and what didn't. And, uh, you know, kind of adjust how I'm going to do things next year as well. So, anyway, that's where we're at. Hope you all enjoy the videos. Hope you like my garden. I absolutely love it and am excited about it, as you can probably tell. If you like the videos, you enjoy them, consider giving us a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Show your friends that are into gardening about them. Or uh, leave us a comment. I always try to respond to any questions or comments. Uh, and uh, always, uh, always love them. It helps the channel grow. And uh, yeah, we just love, uh, love talking to other people that are kind of like-minded. Till next time, it's Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.